Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and today we got ourselves a 2006 Dodge Ram 1500 5.7 liter Hemi on this wonderful day here in Pasadena, Texas. Woo wee! So here it goes. We got this customer right here. They uh, they basically took it to another mechanic to change out the fuel pump. That was not the issue, so they brought it to me, right choice. And now we're gonna get this fixed up. So I'm gonna show you my uh, way of testing this out and going through it. So first and foremost, we just go, we looked at our scan tool. We saw that we have a cam, uh, camshaft sensor uh, code. Uh, their complaint was when they're driving, uh, they would drive like a couple of miles as soon as it started heating up uh, or the engine just heating up to operating temperature, not overheating, it would, it would turn off. They would have to wait a couple, you know, a couple of minutes for the engine to cool down, then they could crank it on. So. What I did, I took off the air box to get to the cam sensor, but my tool that I'm using on this test right here is gonna be this uh, heat gun. And why are you ask I'm using the heat gun? Because I'm gonna simulate what the engine's doing. I'm gonna pull out the sensor, I'm gonna test it out here, and we're gonna show you that this is the, this is the issue that's wrong. So this is a Hall Effect uh, sensor right here that we have, uh, the cam sensor. So basically it has five volts coming from the the PCM and then there's a magnet on there and when it grounds out it goes from five to zero and I will show you how that looks like right here. So as you can see we have five volts and I'm gonna use this right here to ground out the sensor down here. Uh, like I said, I, I made this video kind of short. I, I'm not showing you how to take out the sensor or so on. I'm pretty sure there's other videos out there. I'm showing you how to test this out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ground this out. And you're going to see it's going to drop. And it's going to give it that square. Look at that. There's a square. You stop goes back to 5 volts. Ground it, touch the bottom of the magnet. There you go. Like if I hold it, it stays down there to 0 volts. Okay? So that's what it is. So, I'm going to show you something. When I apply heat to that sensor, this goes erratic and it, sh and it goes to 0. And this is the cool thing. This is the cool part. So this is what causes the vehicle not to turn on. So here it goes. These test procedures will guarantee that you're not changing out parts just for the hell of it. And that's what, like the gray scanner Danner, we're not parts changers. So here it goes. And as you can see, so I'm just gonna heat this up. And should drop, should go erratic. This is gonna look kind of cool. I did this before. There you go. And there you go. Just by heating it up, it dropped the voltage. So, putting the cam sensor on there, I'm gonna fix it up. Eh, I'm just gonna test out the, the, the crank as well, but if you do have a Dodge Ram that has a cam sensor code, get your sister, your mom's, your girlfriend's hair dryer, and but it kind of sucks you don't have a scope like that if you can try a multimeter it can work out now as you can see is uh cooling back up and it goes right back to normal look at the test we're gonna heat it up again and it kind of drops beautiful test right here oh my god i love this there you go so if you like these videos and you want to watch more, please support, share, like, thumbs up. It all helps out. 
Man, I uh, do like all these comments that y'all send, uh, all these uh, beautiful comments, you know, when uh, y'all say thank you for, for your time and all that, that's what makes me want to make more videos. So, y'all have a wonderful day out there, and y'all take care, man. Bye from Oz Mechanics and here in Pasadena, Texas. Y'all take care.